Welcome to the Seattle Aquarium's Rock and Rock Fish New Year's Eve celebration. Ooh, that's a mouthful to say. My name is Diana and I'm your MC for today. Super excited to have you all here with us. We're gonna have a lot in store today. We're gonna be doing some dancing. We're gonna be listening to some music, learning about our animals here at the Seattle Aquarium and even in having a countdown to noon so you don't even have to stay up to midnight. And I'm really excited to introduce you to this band that we have with us here today. Mikey, the Rad Scientist. Hi, how you doing? Hey, so good. Good to see you, Diana. Excellent, excellent. Can you tell us a little bit about yourselves? Absolutely. Well, I'm Mikey, the Rad Scientist. And I'm Kaylee Cole. And we are in a family pod. That's why we are not six feet apart. That's right. And we just love to make up music about nature and animals and science and come up with dances and have a lot of fun. I so. love it. So obviously you love the Seattle Aquarium, probably love these animals here that all rely on that clean seawater out there. So to start us off, do you have a song about water? Absolutely. Perfect. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have a song about a little water molecule named Carlos. Oh. And Carlos goes on an adventure that all water molecules go on, which is called the water cycle. So. Maybe we could do it right now. Everybody yeah. get small, get down okay. low here. And we'll say, the sun hits the water and the water warms up and the, and the water, water turns to vapor and, and the, the vapor, vapor rises, rises up. up. Then the vapor cools down and condenses in a cloud. And then and the, the rain falls back to the ocean. And now we boogie. Well, Carlos was a molecule of water just hanging out inside the big blue sea. He said, I ain't never going nowhere. No way, no adventure's not the kind of thing for me. But guess what? Oh, one day he was floating near the surface when he got warmed up by a very bright sunbeam. And it made him move so fast that he turned to vapor. And he was flying, seeing things he'd never seen. Here we go, let's try it again. Cause the sun hits the water and the water warms up and the water turns to vapor and the vapor rises up. The vapor cools down and condenses in a cloud. This time, the snow falls down on a mountain. Well, Carlos found himself on top of a mountain. He had fallen with a fresh white flake of snow. When summer came, you can be sure he melted. It started rolling down the river, don't you know? Guess where he went? He crashed over a waterfall at the Seattle Aquarium. Here. He even got sucked in by a big fish along the way. Woo -woo -woo. Sure enough, he made his way back to the ocean. Guess what he said? He said, oh, I want to do this every day. Let's do it again. Here we go. Because the sun hits the water and the water warms up and the water turns to vapor and the vapor rises up and the vapor cools down and condenses into clouds. And then the rain falls back to the ocean. He spent some time inside a cactus in the desert. Even got drank by the Queen of England in her tea. He spent years and years just frozen in a glacier. And he said, oh, adventure's just a lie for me. Yeah, he said the water cycle's just alive for me. Okay, last time, here we go! Cause the sun hits the water and the water warms up. And the water turns to vapor and the vapor rises up. And the vapor cools down and condenses in a cloud. And then the rain falls back to the ocean. Hey! Thanks, everybody! Yes! Excellent job. That was great and educational, which is awesome. We'll be right back with you soon, Mikey. But what I want to do now is introduce you to our most amazing animal here at the Seattle Aquarium, the giant Pacific octopus named Kraken. And here to tell us a little bit more about him is his caregiver, Catherine. Hey, Catherine, happy New Year's. Hi, Diana, happy New Year's to you too. And I'm here to introduce you to Kraken, our giant Pacific octopus. 
He is the world's largest species of octopus and he lives right here in the Puget Sound. New Year's Eve, what's Kraken going to be doing? He is going to actually be out crawling around. He's a party animal at night. These guys like to sleep during the day. They hunker down in a den, but when it gets dark outside, they like to come out and play. They're also going to be hunting for food. So just like we tend to look for midnight snacks around midnight, that's what Kraken's going to be doing. He loves to eat crab, shrimp, clam. So when he comes out, he's going to use all these sucker discs that he's got right here to taste for food. So as he reaches underneath rocks and crevices and tries to find his food, he's going to use all those really cool sucker discs that he's got on his arms. On New Year's, to New Year's Eve tonight, he's going to be out hunting for food. I'm probably going to be in bed asleep, but we're both having a good night. So I hope everybody else enjoys their day. Back to you, Diana. Thank you, Catherine and Kraken. So great to see Kraken so active and moving around today. I love it. And Catherine, by the way, don't fall asleep through New Year's Eve. You can do it. You can stay up just like our octopus can. I know you can do it. Mikey Kaylee, what'd you think about our giant Pacific octopus? We so love cool. it. I love them so much. It makes me want to dance. It makes me want to make up an octopus dance. Would you join me in that? Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. Number one, how many arms do they have? Eight. eight. We don't have eight arms, but let's pretend we have eight arms. Move all your arms and your legs around like an octopus. Very strong, very flexible, invertebrate, no bones. So really jelly-like and also smart. And then also octopuses, they live in dens and caves. So little tiny, get really tiny to live in your little home, your den. Maybe only your eyeball peeks out from the front door of your den. You're very quiet. And now it's nighttime. It's time to eat. It's time to go get your favorite food, Dungeness crab. So you can spring out of there, swim out, swim around, looking for your food. Big crab, little shrimp, some clams. Eat them all up. Done and done. You're an octopus now. Do you have an octopus song? We do have an octopus song that we wrote just for this occasion. Great. As a matter of fact, it's the world premiere octopus song. <laughs> you heard it here, world premiere octopus song. Hit it, Mikey. All right. One, two, three, four. O-C-T-O-P-U-S, octopuses are the best. O-C-T-O-P-U-S, octopuses are the best. We got two eyes and eight arms and big brains and three hearts. And we can squeeze through the tiniest doors and change our colors with chromatophores. Let's spell our name now. O-C-T-O-P-U-S, octopuses are the best. O-C-T-O-P-U-S, octopuses are the best. We got jetpacks and ink sacks, but we're not on. We're cephalopods, and we're so smart, and we do our part to keep the ocean alive, so we all can thrive. Let's count those arms now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arms. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octopuses are the best. O C T O P U S. Octopuses are the best. We're the best. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much. Excellent. Okay, so since the celebration is called Rock and Rockfish New Year's Eve, how about we actually learn about the rockfish here at the Seattle Aquarium? And today we're super lucky because we have two fabulous divers with us in the aquarium. We got Diver Carrie right here and Diver Nicole. They're gonna tell us a little bit about some of our rockfish. They're gonna help us with the countdown later. Hit it you two and happy New Year's Eve to you both. Happy New Year's, Diana. Hello everyone. We hope that you're having a wonderful time celebrating 
rock and rock this New Year's with us today. My name is Nicole, and this is my dive buddy, Carrie. Hi, everyone. And we are here to introduce you to some of our rockfish friends. Oh, we find over 70 species of rockfish that call our Salish Sea home. And today, we're going to get a chance to meet five of them that call this exhibit their home. Nicole, you want to kick us off? I do. One of the rockfish in this exhibit is called the yellow eye. There are two large yellow eye rockfish in this habitat. They're bright orange and they're some of the biggest fish here. The female, we estimate, is around 60 years old and she gives live birth like all rockfish. She can have over a million babies at a time. Oh my goodness. Well, speaking of long-lived rockfish, that makes me think of our tiger rockfish that can live up to 120 years old. You can see a tiger rockfish by looking for their tiger stripes. So look for those brown stripes on their orange body. That's how they get their name. Now, tiger rockfish tend to spend a lot of time on their own. You'll see them sitting on the rocky reef in their own space. But there are some rockfish that like to school or swim together. They like hanging out with their friends. An example is a rockfish called the deacon rockfish. And like the tiger rockfish, the deacon has stripes on it its face and they can change the shade getting darker or lighter depending on the time of day so cool you know sometimes i do like to kind of take it easy just relax a little bit maybe spend some time alone like our china rockfish that you can often find using its pectoral fins on the side of its body to wedge itself and hold Hold on to the rocks for three days at a time. Nicole, do you think you could sit still for three days? No way. I like to move around way more than that. And there's a rockfish in this exhibit that you will see moving from rocky reef to rocky reef. It's got a white stripe from its gills all the way down the side of its body to its wiggly tail. It's called the canary rockfish. We have some smaller canary rockfish in this habitat that were introduced recently. They've been raised here at the Seattle Aquarium by us. Now, Nicole, we've got to meet five of our rockfish today. But there's something that they all have in common that we haven't mentioned yet. I think it's one of the coolest things about our rockfish. What's that? It's that they have venomous spines on their back. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> and that's true for all rockfish species. It's something that they have in common with each other. Wow, Carrie, I've had such a good time getting to meet some of our rock and rockfish friends, but there's a lot more to do today. All right, it's back to you, Diana. All right, thanks divers. I loved it, thanks for teaching us about rockfish. It's actually inspired me to dance more, do some rockfish dances. Do you two have a rockfish song? Well, as a matter of fact, we do. It's, it's another world premiere song. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, I love it. Yeah. Well, if you want to join me in learning some dance moves, divers too, that'd be great. Uh, so fish, fish have gills. That's how they breathe underwater to extract the oxygen. So everybody do your gills on the side of your face. They also have pectoral fins, which help guide them through the water, through the sea. And on the very ends are little spines that they can use to actually hold on to rocks and to kelp and not move very much. They also have very strong tails to propel them through the water like their boat propeller almost, it's a caudal fin. And actually rockfish, they can move fast, but oftentimes they barely move at all. They're very still and slow. And sometimes they don't even move at all. So if you wanna add some freezes in your dance, let's do it. You wanna put those three moves and we'll do your song now? Yeah, let's okay, do it. Let's go. I'm a rock, 
I'm a rockfish swimming deep down by the rocks. I'm a rock, I'm a rockfish. I'm the coolest fish on the block. And if you knew me, how about that? Then you'd help protect my habitat. Cause I'm a rock, I'm a rockfish. And my rocky home is where it's at. I'm a rock, I'm a rockfish. Swimming in the deep blue sea. I'm a rock, I'm a rockfish. Have you ever met a fish like me? Cause if you met me, you'd say, hey, let's protect these special fish today. Cause we all want the rockfish to keep on rocking in the rocks of the bay. There's the yellow eye and the deacon, tiger, china, canary. So many beautiful rockfish are swimming in the Salish Sea. And if you met me, you'd say, hey, let's protect these special fish today. Cause we all want the rockfish to keep on rocking in the rocks of the bay. Yes, we all want the rockfish to keep on rocking in the rocks of the bay. <laughs> Diana, this is so exciting. Woo. But you know, look at the time. I know. It's almost New Year's Eve. Yes, it is. It is. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Is everybody ready? Get your counting fingers, your hands, and your fingers warmed up. Mikey and Kaylee, you ready to count? Ready. Diver Nicole's ready to count. Diver Carrie's ready to count. Everybody out there ready to count? On the all together now. And 10, Ten 9, nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, <laughs> to all the rockfish in the sea, and to each and every one, we wish you happy New Year's Eve. Now 2020 is done. Before we wrap up and get to the dance party today, I want to talk about one more animal. It's one of my favorites. It's not an invertebrate. It's not a fish. It's a shorebird called a snowy plover. And today we have the fabulous Miss Sarah Perry to tell us a little bit more about our animal. Happy New Year, Sarah. Hi, everybody. Thanks, Diana. Happy New Year to everyone. I'm really excited to be here and share with you some information about our snowy plover. Uh, we have one snowy plover and her name is Crush. She's a female. Uh, she actually, her full name is Petunia Skull Crusher, but we call her Crush for short. Um, she's super tiny, so don't be alarmed by her name. She's very small and petite. Uh, she only weighs about 30 grams, which for you guys, if you can picture a nine volt battery, that's about what she weighs. So she's very, very small. Um, she came to us from the Monterey Bay Aquarium uh, down in California. So she's been with us for about a year and a half now, which is pretty cool. And uh, we kind of estimate that her age might be around three years old or so. So that's been great. Um, as far as what Crush might be doing on a New Year's Eve celebration, um, she's probably going to be spending the night foraging on bugs all night long. So that's what they would be doing out in the wild. They would be eating a lot of bugs from the day all throughout the night. So she's got a bug party coming up. And when she's not eating bugs, she's probably gonna be resting underneath um, her heat lamps and heat warmers that we provide her so that she can stay warm during these cold temps. Glad to have you guys with us and share your information about Crush and uh, hope you guys have a good New Year's. Back to you, Diana. Thanks so much, Sarah. I love how the snowy plover moves. It's inspired me again for another dance. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> so I have some moves I wanna show you. All of you out there, if you want to join me, I would love it. First thing that I love snowy plovers doing is they bob their heads and their necks back and forth like this when they're looking around their habitat. They live on coastlines, on the sand. They're going to go like this and skitter with their tiny little feet to look for crustaceans and little bugs. And they have really, really strong but short little wings. You can bend your elbows in like that. These wings help them travel hundreds of miles on their migrations. They're an amazing little bird. Three moves right there. If you want to give me some music, I'll call it out. Okay. Sound good? Okay, let's do it.
Lori Plover Dance. Thanks, Mike and Kaylee. I'm ready for a dance party now. So before we wrap up, do you have any more music for us today? Absolutely. Well, we've learned about some pretty cool animals today that live in the Puget Sound, but there are so many animals that live in the Puget Sound. Maybe we could do some dances that um, cover some of those other animals. Yeah, like, let's do it. Maybe like the shore crab. Ooh. If you're at home, get your pinchers up and dance along with us. Shore crab, shore crab, crawling in the sound. Shore crab, shore crab, crawling in the sound. Shore crab, shore crab, crawling in the sound. A crawling in the, crawling in the sound. Hey, Kaylee, do you, can you think of any other animals that live in the Puget Sound? <gasps> anemones. Ooh. I love anemones. Let's get our tentacles up and wiggling. Anemones, anemones, hanging in the sound. Anemones, anemones, hanging in the sound. Anemones, anemones, hanging in the sound. A hanging in the, hanging in the sound. Oh, one of my favorites is an animal that likes to lie on its back and eat its food while it floats around, and they're so cute. You know what I'm talking about? Otters? Yeah, let's be otters. Right. Otters, otters, swimming in the sound. Otters, otters, swimming in the sound. Otters, otters, swimming in the sound. So swimming in the, swimming in the sound. Oh, let's play a guessing game. I'm thinking of an animal that is big and black and white and lives in the Puget Sound. I know what it is. Yeah? It's an orca. It's the orca <gasps> whale. Favorite. Let's be orca whales, everybody. Woo. Orcas, orcas, swimming in the sound. Orcas, orcas, swimming in the sound. Orcas, orcas, swimming in the sound. So many cool creatures living in the Puget Sound. Yay. <laughs> oh, well, that was fun. Oh, you know, speaking of cool creatures that live in the Puget Sound, look at all these awesome salmon that live here. And look at that swimming around right there. Some really beautiful salmon. Um, we've got a song about salmon, don't we, Kaylee? Yeah, let's sing it. Shall we? Here it goes. Samantha Salmon started out as an egg in a river nest. Ooh, life cycle salmon, life cycle. With 3,000 other eggs, and she knows she wanted to be the best. Ooh, life cycle salmon, life cycle. After 55 days in water, cold, clean, and clear, she laughed and knew her next life cycle stage was here. Cause she had been an egg, but now she was an alivin. From egg to alivin. That's right. Being an alivin must be really sweet. Ooh, life cycle Cause you're safe in the gravel and you've always got something to eat. Life cycle, salmon, life cycle. The leftover yolk it kept her fed, no doubt. But after three more months, she knew it would run out. The next stage of her life was to be a little fry. Oh, she took a gulp of air and filled up her swim bladder. Life cycle, salmon, life cycle. And started eating lots of bugs so that she could get stronger and fatter. Life cycle, she memorized the smell of the stream she lived in And then her next life cycle stage could begin Where fresh water meets the salt Samantha was now a smolt <laughs> Oh, Samantha found herself in the estuary And ate as much as she could to be as big as she could be Her color changed and she was silvery As she swam out into the sea she looked one more time back towards her home stream. She was no longer a smolt. She was finally an adult. Oh, Samantha was feeling free, and she got the notion life cycle, life cycle. to swim for four whole years and see lots of the ocean. Life cycle, life cycle. She ate lots of fish and had lots of fun. And something in her said that it was time to spawn. Her biggest challenge yet was upon her, for now she was a spawner. Egg, a oven, oven, fry, small adult spawner. So Samantha found her way by the smell and the sun to the little river where her life had begun. She carefully dug a new red with her tail and laid her eggs with the milk from a male, though her life cycle was done. One had begun. A new one had begun. A new one had begun. Thanks everyone so much for joining us today for our first annual Rockin' Rockfish New Year's Eve celebration. 
That is still a mouthful to say. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we are so excited for the new year. You know, 2020 has been a year. Bye, 2020. Bye bye. Come on in 2021. We are welcoming you to help us out and have a great year coming up. I want to thank people who joined us today. Our great animal care specialists who take care of our fabulous animals here. Our two scuba divers. We've got diver Nicole and diver Carrie. We have got Kaylee and Mikey from their wonderful band, Mikey the Rad Scientist. Um, and question Kaylee, where can we actually uh, find more of your music? You can find our music on Bandcamp, Spotify, Apple. We're on Instagram and Facebook under Mikey the Rad Scientist. Excellent, excellent, thanks again. All right, and if you had a good time today, uh, please do consider uh, possibly donating to the aquarium so we can keep these events going on and forward in the future. Keep an eye out on our website for future events. This was our first one. We had a really great time and we wish everybody a wonderful 2021. Bye. Bye, everybody. Play us out, Mikey. All right. When I say tide pulling, you say let's go tide pulling. Let's go. Tide pulling. Let's go. When I say let's go, you say tide pulling. Let's go. Tide pulling. Let's go. Tide pulling. Let's all hop on our bikes and head down to the beach. Cause there's a world underneath the waves and it's not too far out of reach. And you can sing with the sea stars, you can dance with the men of knees. Rocking on the rocks with the octopus, there's so much to see in the sea. And twice a day the moon, she pulls the water from the shore. I've seen lots of animals, but I want to see some more. So when I say tide pulling, you say let's go tide pulling. Let's go. Tide pulling. Let's go. When I say let's go, you say tide pulling. Let's go. Tide pulling. Let's go. Tide Boogie with the barnacle, you can wiggle like a nudibranch. Searching for an urchin in the shiny kelp, putting sand dollars in the bank. It's hard to be crabby when you're on the beach, hanging out in the sun. Our hands are clammy and our claws are wet, but we're having so much fun. So when I say tide pooling, you say let's go tide pooling. Let's go. Tide pooling. Let's go. When I say let's go, you say tide pooling. Let's go. Tide pooling. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what a beautiful day. Happy New Year, everybody. We hope you all have a great year. Thanks so much for being here today. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs>